I'm going to teach everybody an exercise. You may have done it, many of you. Uh, we're going to do a simple flow in and out exercise. I want everybody to look and take your hand kind of like a, a shark fin. It's not shark week. I usually say in honor of shark week, but it's not shark week. We'll call every week shark week, okay? And I want you to take your first finger and put it under your nose. And we're going to keep that, that, um, that shark fin. And you're going to inhale with more of an O sound like this. And I want you to drop your jaw and think of an O, like you're trying to inhale a hard boiled egg without breaking it. Listen to that sound. Now I want you to breathe in like that. You're gonna notice right away you're breathing deeper than you normally do. Some of you are already taking a bigger breath than you did in your videos. So you breathe in. And then on the exhale, I want you to think that O. So O. Not trying to form an amateur, just a nice relaxed at the lips, O. Oh. So we're gonna breathe in for four and we're gonna breathe out for four. And the simple goal is all of the air and all of the counts. You're gonna be totally full in four counts and you're gonna try to be totally empty in four counts. Does that make sense to everybody? And it's a O oh sound, a more open sound in, a deeper breath, more relaxed and a more open sound out. So let's give it a whirl. Just go with me, ready? One, two, and one, two, ready, and. And out, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, and out. Get all the air out. Four more, breathe lower. Keep those shoulders relaxed, breathe lower. Out, make sure we're not capping the breath at the top. Keep that continuous air. Three, four, and out. Two, take one more deeper breath. And now we're gonna do threes and threes. Here we go. And in, two, three, and out. Two, three, breathe a little open, a little deeper. Keep working that flow. In, two, three, and out. Two, three, last one. In, two, three, out, two, Three, by right, shake it out. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I Jump can tell down. a lot of you have done breathing gym before, okay? Um, and one of the things I like, Gabriel Jara, um, he was, when we did our monitor on the out, he was allowing that hand to go further away from him during the four counts, okay? A lot of us kept the hand stagnant, okay? I love this as being a monitor, okay? and being able to say, I need to make sure I'm focusing on following through all the way to my end of my note, okay? This should never be the same. Don't do this the same every time. You know what I mean? Like maybe one time the inhale is gonna be a little bit further from your mouth, and then you want to keep the monitor close so you can see if you're having the aperture small enough that the air is going right there, or is it spreading too much, okay? And then sometimes it's gonna be farther away and then you're going to want to know initially, am I getting my air there initially, or am I increasing and blossoming as I go on? Okay, so this shouldn't always be the exact same every single rep. Play around with it, notice different things, and what's going to happen is that's going to make you more aware of those things when we start to play our instrument. 